I want to um, recognize that uh, we have had two years of interruption and we're so pleased to be back in person and what a wonderful location to be at and what a wonderful opportunity to say congratulations to these students in person and also in live stream. So welcome to any one of you that are joining us live stream. I'll be your MC today. So we want to um, hear that tell you in the live stream that we'll be dropping links to the chat that have the program. And the program has the names of all of the students that receive the state seal of fire literacy. Uh, and those of you who are here should have a printed copy of that program. So um, thank you all board members that are here, all cabinet members that are here, all teachers, parents, students, you have achieved a lot and we congratulate you. The state seal of bioliteracy is in alignment with the California English Learner Roadmap, which in the vision of the California English Learner Roadmap, we speak to English learners fully and meaningfully access and participate in the 21st century. Century education from early childhood through grade 12. That results in their attaining of high levels of English proficiency, mastery of grade level standards and opportunity to develop proficiency in multiple languages. And what a beautiful opportunity you have taken and the hard work you have done to achieve just that. We have been doing uh, the state seal of IRC in Sacramento County. We're very proud to have 11 years. In this slide you see from last year to this year, and you see that we continue to work directly with 14 districts and charters. Thank you for your collaboration and partnership. 55 schools, high schools in our area. And this year we are able to recognize 25 of the 120 languages we have in our area. We also achieve almost a, a 1,800 seals, which actually we have, but these are the ones that we recorded up until the point that we can uh, for this ceremony. And we have on record more than 57 um, seals or students earning seals in more than two languages. That's quite amazing. And in our system, we have established that we want to make sure students have a certificate of recognition and that certificate is pretty much a, um, a record for them to demonstrate that they have earned this prestigious award that then can be used for their college as well as college admissions and employers. Some employers are actually taking the state seal of biliteracy in lieu of exams that would qualify you for bilingual stipends. And very importantly, the golden golden insignia that comes from the California Department of Education to ensure that that is put onto your diploma. In addition, many of our districts do ceremonies and um, medals and certificates, so make sure you check with your coordinator uh, from your district. So I spoke about the program that we publish. Those, uh, those of you who are here have a printed copy, just know we haven't done that in three years. So how wonderful it is to have something physically. And so we want to work out that. Class is because of the resiliency that everyone has had to endure. And so this class of 2023, you know, it's we're going to see marvelous things. We already see marvelous things happening and we have yet to see a lot more. Thank you for your resiliency. And now, I have the pleasure of introducing our superintendent, Gordon, who will give you a welcome. Thank you very much, Graciela, and good afternoon to everybody. Uh, and welcome to this extraordinary, extraordinary ceremony. This is a joyful day for us because earning the seal of biliteracy 
is a big, big deal. It's going to help equip our young people in ways that most of our students in California are not well equipped in. And it's going to make a big difference in their lives and in the lives of their communities. So I'm filled with joy today as we celebrate and recognize our students' outstanding accomplishments in mastering more than one language. And, and some of our students have mastered three, four, five languages as well. And as a county, I want you to know that we continue to rank in the top 10 of counties across the state in the numbers of students receiving seals of biliteracy. Let's, uh, let's give Graciela and her team a great round of applause. So congratulations to all our students, and I'd like to give a special shout out to all of the teachers, administrators, and school staff who stand behind these students and make all this possible. Let's, let's, give, it up for, let's give it up for them. And family members, I can't say enough about how much your support of your young people means to your children as they go through school. Whether they're in kindergarten or, or 12th grade, uh, they need you behind them. They need you cheering them on every step of the way. And uh, kids, students, you should be so grateful. Let's, let's give your families a nice round of applause for all of their support. 1,800 seals of biliteracy is an amazing accomplishment for this county and all of our schools and our school districts. Besides English, this year's seal recipients are proficient in more than 24 other languages, and I won't, won't name all the languages. They met demanding state criteria and demonstrated exceptional linguistic abilities on exams and other required coursework. As I said earlier, being proficient in more than one language will provide you young people with skills to help you succeed in the global economy, build your self-confidence, and help develop a stronger sense of community. And for our community here in Sacramento, we become even more globally competitive and inclusive of new perspectives, ideas, and innovation, which helps us all thrive. Other countries recognize that being bilingual and multilingual is a key workforce skill, and they teach their children accordingly. And that's one of the reasons uh, I support our dual immersion programs 100%. We should do much, much more of this uh, in our state and our country because it will pay off not only for our young people, not only for the economy, but for the way all of us live together uh, and thrive together. And more than ever, to succeed in today's global market, market our, our students must build and maintain these bilingual skills. So again, congratulations to, uh, to our young people for this amazing accomplishment. You're developing through mastery of another language a different vision of the world that only a language can provide. So at this time, I would like to throw it back to Graciela, who will serve as this, uh, to will serve, uh, who will int introduce our keynote speaker. But again, please help me recognize Graciela, the leadership in all of our school districts for making this happen. Graciela. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon. Of introducing our keynote speaker. Of staff, California State Senate Trustee in of Sacramento County Office of Education, Mariana Corona Savaniano is a Chief of Staff in the. California State Senate. She has over 15 years of public service working on legislation 
and advancing policy on a variety of issues, including education, health, higher education, women's issues, and more. Mariana's active involvement in various leadership roles to advance Sacramento region has led her to be included recently in the Sacramento Bee's inaugural list of Latino change makers and was a 40 under 40 recipient by the Sacramento Business Journal in 2020. Mariana grew up in Arbuckle, California with five siblings to immigrant parents from Mexico and she's the oldest. She is the first one in her family to attend and graduate from college. Mariana earned her Bachelor of Arts from Sacramento State and a Master's of Science in Law from McGeorge School of Law. This is one of her quotes that you also find in the program. Spanish was my first language and I have appreciated the opportunities that being bilingual has brought me, including the connectedness to my parents, my culture, and diverse communities. Mi primer idioma fue español. Y he las oportunidades que me ha brindado ser bilingüe, incluyendo la relación con mis padres, mi cultura y las comunidades diversas. Coron uh, I'm sorry, Mariana Corona Saliniano. Thank you, Graciela, for that wonderful introduction. Every time I hear my bio read um, or read, read out loud, I'm like, who is that? Um, so thank you so much. I am so honored to be here today to speak to you um, and to celebrate you as you are awarded your state seal of biliteracy. And I'm just at all looking around the room and seeing all the students, the parents, the teachers, the staff, and the guests that are here to celebrate you. I wish you could see it from my view, but maybe take a moment to look around. Look at who's here to celebrate you and give yourselves all a round of applause. Look at your fellow peers who like you have invested so much time and energy to master a new language. Self-reflect on the road to get here today, the barriers you overcame and the grit you showed to not give up. You should all be so proud of your accomplishment for recognizing at such an early age the importance of learning and mastering a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth language. At your age, I'm shy to say that I was still struggling with my identity. And speaking a second language was a chore that gave me anxiety. Spanish was my first language. As the eldest in my family, I served as, as a translator for my parents and any relative that needed translation and interpretation services. I was not the best in the role. I did not get paid, but I got the job done somehow. Imagine yourselves in the doctor's office at the age of eight, 10, 10 years old, having to translate words that you had never heard before. Thinking back, I recall going a roundabout way to describe the medical terms the doctor was using and my mom guessing what I was trying to translate. Somehow we made it work. She got the information that she needed, even though I did not have to how to literally translate those medical words into Spanish words. As I got older, this continued and my dislike and dread for having to serve in this role only grew. It was not until much later in life that I began to appreciate knowing a second language. While in college, I met friends that did not know their home language and their inability to communicate well with their parents and family members had caused them to grow distant. 
Speaking another language has blessed me personally and given me the privilege to maintain a special relationship with my family and understand the words of advice, even in times when the advice has been unsolicited. Now you all understand that there are just some phrases that don't translate well or lose their intended meaning of wisdom and humor. I'll share a few of my favorite ones in Spanish that I heard growing up. My mom would always say, Dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. Tell me who you hang out with and I'll tell you who you are. Those of you that heard it know exactly what your parents were trying to say with this. Hablar sin pelos en la lengua, which literally translates to speak without hairs on your tongue. But the intended meaning is to speak frankly. Some translations just don't work, right? Speaking Spanish has allowed me to learn the history of my family, the journey my grandparents and parents took to get to this country, and to appreciate my culture. And those are moments that I will hold dear my entire life. And reflecting on the importance of this seal, its benefits in your journey to get to this point of people who are biliterate and multilingual became clear. The first superpower is having a voice. Being, being bilingual means gaining access to more opportunities. I discovered a strength in using my bilingual voice. It was like having more than one key to open doors, open conversations, open minds, my voice created new opportunities. I have no doubt you will see this as well as you continue to develop your superpower to have a voice. As a leader, it's crucial that we encourage others to use their voice and remember that everyone has something valuable to contribute regardless of their language. The second is being able to listen perspective. In today's globalized world, being able to communicate in multiple languages is a valuable skill that can open new opportunities and perspectives. Actively listening to gain perspective is the true strength of a leader. Languages allow us to connect with people from different cultures and backgrounds, build relationships, find commonalities, and expand our knowledge and understanding of the world. From a personal perspective, I learned there is more we have in common with one another than we may think. When I moved to Sacramento, I met my husband, who is Filipino. And I quickly realized that there was so much that we had in common. Even though we were from completely different cultures, our traditions, values, and even our language had commonalities. I don't understand Tagalog very well. I don't speak it at all but I can sometimes make sense of what is being said because some of the Tagalog words have the same meaning in Spanish. You should have seen my excitement when I heard his mom speak Tagalog and all of a sudden I heard the word cuchara and I was like, oh, I know what that is. It means spoon in Spanish. So I knew exactly what she was talking about. And I went to the drawer, I opened it and I said, here it is. And she looks at me and it was just uh, a moment of connectedness that even though we come from different worlds, words such as simple as a spoon can bring us together. Being able to listen more than just hearing someone's words, it's about understanding the context of how those words are shared in combination with other verbal and nonverbal cues, like voice inflection, tone, facial expressions, and body language. Being multilingual has, also has cognitive benefits. Studies have shown that it can improve memory, enhance critical thinking skills, and even delay the onset of dementia. It can also make us more adaptable, compassionate, and flexible, which is essential in today's fast-paced and ever-changing world. And the third of our superpowers is communicating ideas in more than one language, creates an even more inclusive world. In my current job, I'm one of few that can communicate with Spanish speakers. It is rewarding to see and hear the sigh of relief when I talk to individuals that only speak Spanish, when they realize that I understand them and they don't have to struggle 
uh, with their broken English to get across what they're trying to say. This is one way that we can help people. All of us here in this room that speak multiple languages. A superpower that cannot be taken away from us. Thanks to your superpower of communicating ideas, you have the ability to be innovative, to help the region, our state, and even the nation to solve the real problems that are before us. The state seal by literacy celebrates your superpowers. A superpower you all now have and must keep exercising. You have a voice, you're able to listen for, for perspective, and you can communicate ideas using each and every one of your diverse linguistic backgrounds. Your ability to communicate ideas is more than one, in more than one language will help make us all successful. And don't be afraid to add another language in the future. Al mal tiempo, buena cara, which means hold your head high even when the going gets tough. Congratulations. Felicidades. Uh, uh, thank you, Marina. We have a little certificate for you of appreciation that says, um, on this third day of May 2023, thank you for honoring students and families in your keynote address at the 11th year Sacramento County Office of Education, Global Literacy Recognition Ceremony. Gracias por lograr tanto y ser líder. Sigue brillando. What a perfect message of resiliency and a segue to student voice. Um, this year we thought we would do something different. We wanted to have the opportunity to hear from our students. So we asked them an optional question in the RSVP. And the question was, what does the state seal of literacy mean to you? And they responded. And we also asked them, would you like to speak at the ceremony? Say yes or no. And we had quite a few that said yes. We said we would select two, but we could not just only select two. We selected four. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, welcome our students. They have, uh, they have spoken. And they're sharing with us from their hearts, from their corazón, what does earning the state seal of literacy mean to them? So I'd like to invite our first student in. I want to tell you that this is a surprise to all of our coordinators. All they got was an email that said, congratulations, one of your students was selected to speak at the ceremony. But when they asked who it was, I said, no, you've got to come to the ceremony and find out. <laughs> so here it is. Here's our first speaker. And I, uh, let's see, is Chisa out here? Is she here? Maybe not, okay. Well, uh, it's okay. Maybe I should have told you, huh? <laughs> okay, so a uh, student earning for Urdu and English, and you see a beautiful quote from what this student wrote. And um, because these this quotes are so powerful, we also included a page on the program, uh, I believe it's page five, that has other quotes that we captured. And so you can see this quote that says, it's truly an honor identifying myself as a bilingual um, a person who, ca who came as an immigrant because of my parents and them seeing me representing my Pakistani culture and community is extremely rewarding. So let's give the student a round of applause. And then we have our next student. And this student is coming to us from El Camino Fundamental High School from San Juan Unified School District. Uh, Adilene Barraza Ochoa, you're in her state uh, seal of literacy for Spanish and English. So, Adilene. Good afternoon. My name is Adilene Barraza Ochoa. I come from El Camino High School and I will be attending Sacramento State this upcoming fall. Uh, 
I remember being told that to succeed in life, I had to speak English. I come from immigrant, Im immigrant parents who came from a different country to give me and my siblings um, better educational opportunities. Because of this, my parents would tell, tell me and push me to learn English the best and fastest way possible because that was the only way I was going to make it. I am a Chicana, which means that I am Mexican-American and I have, learned to le I have learned to embrace that identity with me. My first language is Spanish and I learned English as I went through school. I kept telling myself that if I learned to speak English and Spanish, I would have advantages in both and that would be even better. I was five years old when I was directly immersed into an English classroom. I was a type of student who struggled in my English classes and was part of ESL programs. I was a type of student who was always behind in standard reading English level. Although this is a bit embarrassing to confess, there was a point in my journey where I was in fifth grade and I was at a third grade reading level. As you can see, I struggled between switching in Spanish and English and receiving this award makes all my hard work and perseverance count. Receiving this award demonstrates how a child of immigrant parents can be successful even though they might have to work harder. Receiving this award is a way to prove to myself and others around me that I have made it. Y como dijo César Chávez, si se puede. Thank you, Evelyn. We asked our student speakers to also, you know, at the end we'd like to take a picture with the group. So thank you so much. And yes, you know, the struggle of students working harder is very real uh, because they need to learn the language as well as the content. And so good job. <laughs> then our next student, um, I'm also hoping they are here because they did um, confirm. It's Sadara Taylin Willis. Are you here? Yes, okay. Congratulations on earning the seal for French and English. Bonjour à tous. I'm starting to sound like my French teacher. I love her. Hi. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Je m'appelle Sadara, or Sky for short. I'm a senior attending Cordova High School. Yay, class of 23. <laughs> I'll be attending American River College this fall for fashion design. Um, let's see here. Receiving the State Seal of Biliteracy is a great accomplishment and honor. It wasn't that long ago that we were sitting at a desk learning the alphabet of a language we knew little about. I think those videos of the dancing, singing letters have left an impression on us all, just a little bit. Um, right now, I'd like to give a big round of applause to our language teachers, especially to mes professeurs de français, Madame Pollen and Madame Cadets, as well as the planners. <laughs> On behalf of French learning students, I apologize to the French teachers who've had to herd oui, oui, baguette and pressure to stream Ratatouille all year. I'm very sorry, it's a good movie. And voila, merci beaucoup for this opportunity. Passez une bonne soirée and congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you so much. Didn't she, didn't she do awesome? Yes. Yes, both had the learner as well. Thank you. And yes, you know, it's wonderful to have our students that have earned the seal by studying it as a second language. So it is, um, you know, I was a world language teacher, so I totally associate with the videos and whatnot. Our next student is from, um, Sacramento City Unified School District. Let's welcome Alice 
al Alice Mendoza Corrales. Um, hello, I am Alice Mendoza Corrales. I am a current senior at CK McClatchy Senior High School. Um, I will be me I will be attending California State University Sacramento, and I will be majoring in computer engineering, minor in Mandarin. <laughs> um, first off, I'd like to thank the State Sale of Literacy team for allowing me to speak here today. Um, being able to receive the state seal of biliteracy is an honor. Not only is it a blessing to be able to speak a different language, but being recognized for such an accomplishment is a surreal feeling. This recognition reflects a lifetime of knowledge and connectivity to one's culture. We're all extremely lucky to be able to receive such recognition of proficiency in a language, whether it be Spanish, Mandarin, or Hmong, among other languages. By learning a new language, we gain insight into the tradition, traditions, beliefs, and values of one's culture. I myself have been taking classes at the Korean School of Sacramento, and I can say it's a language, but I'm struggling through it with a smile. Knowing more than one language has opened up an abundant amount of opportunities, both personally and in society. It's allowed me to translate for peers in the classroom or even someone who is having trouble communicating with others in a public setting. We are living in a time where the world is becoming interconnected and globalized. Being bilingual helps us navigate challenges and opportunities in today's time. In today's world, many companies operate in multiple countries and seek employees who can speak multiple languages. By earning the state seal of biliteracy, I feel confident that I am better equipped to engage with the world around me and to contribute to the ways. As I stand here today, I will continue to learn and grow as a bilingual individual. I hope that we can all pursue the opportunity of learning a language. I'd like to finish this off with my favorite quote. Si le hablas a un hombre en su idioma que entiende, se le sube la cabeza. Si le hablas en su propio idioma, le llega el corazón. In other words, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. Thank you. Thank you for our student voice and for responding to what does it mean to you and speaking from your heart. On this slide, you see that uh, we have, um, as of today, we have 15,591 seals on record from Sacramento County Office and Sacramento area, actually, in this 11 years. And so congratulations, class of 2023. You are part of this community now. And on this slide, you see the 14 um, districts and charters that have a dedicated seal of literacy coordinator to support us in this progress, in this process. We cannot do this without you. So thank you very much to your leadership and to your cabinet for supporting you and um, thank you. Oops, sorry. Okay, so from here, we go from the moment we've been waiting for. Um, we're going to be asking our coordinators to come up on stage, and when they are called, they, they will be telling us a little bit about their district, their process, and then um, the students, we ask that you stand together and then come to this end. You see Ms. Kuvan and Ms. Monica Veda. They're going to be guiding you on how we're going to proceed to walk up to the stage, okay? And so um, your order does not matter. We just need to make sure you have your card at hand. And then you're going to be handing your card. So we ask that you walk up to the stage, you hand your card to your coordinator, they'll call your name, and you're going to walk across the stage and shake the hands of our SCOE uh, team and SCOE cabinet and superintendent 
um, that are here. And if anyone from your district is here, we invite you to also come up uh, to join you in celebrating you. Okay? All right. Are we ready? Okay. This is the moment. Yes, so thank you. Dr. Herrera, would you like to join? Yes, please, on, by the SCOE banner. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so at this moment, we're going to get started. Um, we ask that, uh, you know, at the end of the ceremony, uh, we do have some refreshments outside, and uh, we ask that we to take some pictures at the end. Okay? All right. So, at this time, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Rogelio Jaime from Center Joint Unified School District. All right, thank you, Graciela. I leave it to the guy who's first year doing this, and let's see how well I do. Uh, first of all, congratulations, class of 2023. You guys deserve it, so give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Definitely. So like Graciela said, my name is Rogelio Jaime. I'm assistant principal and first year coordinator for um, so by literacy. So it was a lot for me to learn, a lot for me to coordinate, but it was awesome to see the joy of their faces when these students realized they got the seal. Four years of, you know, taking Spanish classes, Russian classes. Um, so it was a very proud moment for me to see these kids get it. Um, so we've seen an increase hugely in the last two years um, in our civil literacy and our students working hard. Um, but it wouldn't be without the teachers, our language teachers, our administrators, and you parents. So thank you, um, definitely. And I'm just happy that the students are able to enjoy this moment in front of you guys. So we had 20, 27 students uh, receive the civil literacy at our school. Um, three of them Russian and uh, 24 of them Spanish. So for at Center High School, that's a pretty big deal. So without further ado, I am going to have my students come up and announce them. First one, senior, Rebecca Plummer, Spanish. Next, Ashley. Morales, Anaya, Spanish. Next, senior, Jimena Lopez, Spanish. Next, Jacqueline Quesada, Spanish. Isabella Torres, Spanish. Oh, I had to talk to Haley, make sure I got this right. Haley Knudsen, Spanish. And last but not least, Hugo Medrano, Spanish. Congratulations to all your Center, Center Unified Joint School District students for getting this award. Thank you, guys. Let's hear it from uh, for Centers one more time. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, we have Elk Grove Unified School District. So we are. We, <laughs> Is Garrett Lepstock. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, my name is Garrett Lepstock. Uh, I get the honor of representing Elk Grove Unified School District. Um, I love the enthusiasm from the, uh, from the, the, the students here. But um, first off, I just want to say a, a huge shout out and a thank you to our superintendent, uh, Mr. Chris Hoffman, along with our EGUSD board members and our director. Uh, Ms. Lindsay Lilly for always promoting uh, the assets of our multilingual students and our families. 
uh, making it a priority in everything we do, and I think it's represented in uh, what we do as a school district. So um, I loved uh, hearing Ms. Sabanano's uh, earlier talk about a superpower, and I think it's such an amazing thing that these students have. It is a superpower. And I think that grit that she used to, to describe the work that they've done really represents um, the four-year accomplishment of these students. We had uh, over 355, not over, we had exactly 355 students who uh, individually earned this award. We had seven who earned it in multiple languages, which is really fantastic. We had 64 who opted into the uh, SCOE exam and pursued that in such a wonderful way. So I'm um, really proud of these students. Um, a huge shout out and thank you to the teachers, to the administrators, the counselors, our BTAs, our staff that support these students and what they do, uh, promoting them through this journey, encouraging them along the way. But really, um, thank you to the families. Uh, without you, without the encouragement, um, the ownership of that second language and the passion around it, this wouldn't happen. So um, this is my third year doing this program and being able to, to lead a fellow group, and it's a joy. It's really a joy to talk to these students, to see their faces, to recognize the accomplishment they've made. So congratulations to you all as you come across here. Um, and I know great things are ahead of you, uh, not only with this, but along with your graduation in the near future. So. <laughs> Gabriela Sykes, Sheldon High School, Spanish. <laughs> Mylan Hightower, Sheldon High School, Spanish. Kevin Din, Sheldon High School, Vietnamese. Emma Garcia, Pleasant Grove High School, Spanish. Virginia Rao, Pleasant Grove High School, Spanish. Taylin Yang, Pleasant Grove High School, Japanese. Nathaniel Lopez Reyes, Franklin High School, Spanish. Cameron Kennedy, Elk Grove, or Sheldon High School, Spanish. Evan Lau Nyo, Pleasant Grove High School, Spanish. Maria. Tarula, Florin High School, Spanish. <laughs> Elliot Binner, Pleasant Grove High School, Spanish. <laughs> Natalie Rico Diaz, Valley High School, Spanish. <laughs> Melissa Quintero Pulido, Valley High School, Spanish. Gabriela Guccio Medina, Valley High School, Spanish. Jasmine Vargas, Casunas Oaks High School, Spanish. Alexis Gonzalez, Valley High School, Spanish. Alejandro Quispe, uh, Spanish. Ethan Lipsy, Casunas Oaks High School, Spanish. Don Qua, Valley High School, Vietnamese. Ellen Lin, Valley High School, Chinese Mandarin. Soraya Munaf, Hindi and Spanish, Valley High School. Christopher Santiago, Valley High School, Spanish. Ben Ventura Jr., Valley High School, Spanish. Marianne Somera, Valley High School, Tagalog.
Eliana Aguirre, Monterey Trail High School, Spanish. Edgar Dominguez, Valley High School, Spanish. Mauricio Alvarado, Valley High School, Spanish. Riley Bringino, Sheldon High School, French. Julissa Munoz, Valley High School, Spanish. Nimrit Dosung, uh, Sheldon High School, French. Trinity Orr, Sheldon High School, French. Kaylee Adams, Sheldon High School, French. Isabel Lopez Pereira, Sheldon High School, Spanish and French. And Luke Bangloy, Sheldon High School, French. Congratulations, Elk Grove Unified School District. We hope to get some group pictures at the end after the ceremony. Next, I'd like to call Folsom Cordova Unified School District, Elena Cabrera. Good evening. Congratulations. What an honor it is always to have this opportunity to recognize students. And of course, because you're bilingual, even a greater opportunity is having grown up with a different language, Espanol for me first, and also becoming, having the benefit of being bilingual. It's really, truly an honor to be in the room with all of you incredible students. It's uh, not only a wonderful accomplishment for yourself, but I can assure you your family and your friends and your teachers have, take great pride in your success because it is really an achievement. I wanted to um, thank in Folsom Cordova, first of all, Dr. Kaligian. She is an incredible supporter of our seal of literacy and our students along their journey. Our board members, um, each of our schools also recognize our students separately at different award ceremonies during the senior year when there's so many wonderful things to celebrate for students. So congratulations to those students who could not join us today. Um, I also want to thank our teachers in Folsom Cordova who do an incredible job, and not just the world language teachers, but all the teachers. Um, we uh, certainly want to encourage students to, if they have another language as they're learning English, to hold on to that and, and, and improve that along the way so they are able to, at the end of their journey, receive that syllabi literacy. Uh, obviously, students who take an interest in the second language from English, also we want to encourage them. It's, it's definitely through the world language teachers and through the counselors, but all the other teachers on campus as well. Um, and last but not least, I do want to also recognize, like many of my colleagues, that the parents, the family members that have taken great, you know, you've probably heard the practice at home, and, and maybe if you speak the language, if it's your first language to, or your home language, you hear throughout the journey the trials and tribulations of la practica, all of the practice. <laughs> So congratulations and thank you parents and family members for their support and students. Thank you. We're so proud of you. And, um, you know, you don't know what what you learn in language until you need it, the value that it brings. And I can assure you for me, it has been invaluable to be a bilingual person and to be um, just someone who I, I consider it one of my greatest powers, but also one of my greatest assets is to be bilingual. So with that, I will say that in Folsom Cordova this year, we have 242 students receiving the seal. We're so proud of that. We have had uh, participation in the seal of biliteracy since its inception in Sacramento County Office of Ed. So 11 years for us, it's been a wonderful partnership working with alongside Graciela and our superintendent of uh, Dave Gordon, fantastic supporter of seal of biliteracy. We have 19 languages representative, uh, represented of the 24 in Folsom Cordova. 
46 of the students receiving the award today are exam students. Those are students who take the exam. Maybe for whatever reason, we're not able to take four years of language, but I am deeply proud of those exam completers. Uh, congratulations to them. A hundred of our 242 students were former English learners. They're reclassified students. Woo -woo. That's awesome. I'm really proud of that. Yeah, yeah. And 13 of those 242 are receiving the seal in more than one language. Is that amazing? Fantastic. One of our students today, in fact, is receiving the seal in, in three languages, so aside from English. So, yeah, they deserve that. So again, I could stand up here and tell you all the wonderful things about the SEAL and all of the representation that each of you students, not just in Folsom Cordova, bring and the pride and the hard work. But I also um, could tell you that each of your teachers and your coordinators feel the same way. So with that, I am going to move to recognize our students. So come on up. Elisavita Ajiva, Russian. Vivian Maurer, French. Angela Mendoza, Spanish. Ellen Goyak, Spanish. Askan Kalili, Dari and Pashto. Wazma Azizi, Dari and Pashto. Sadaf Mohammadi, Turkish. Aryan Singh, French. Arun Dixit, Spanish. Lexi Martinez Villaseñor, Spanish. Akshika Pradivan, Tamil. Ayush Patel, Spanish. Annalisa Torres, Spanish. Emma Savage, Spanish. Isra Rolf, Spanish. Vanessa Patton, Spanish. <laughs> Natalia Kurpa, Ukrainian and Russian. <laughs> Erica Chigai, Spanish, Russian, and Romanian. <laughs> Sadara Willis, French. Thank you so much and congratulations. Congratulations, Folsom Cordova. You know, um, our, our tech team is dropping the, in the chat uh, the program, so you have the names available. And also, as our uh, coordinators, Silo Biosi coordinators are speaking on behalf of their program and the students are coming up, there, there is a PowerPoint that has student names, so you can see an I, uh, your student name there. 
Um, Elena talked about the exam, and I just want to say that this year we were able to add two additional exams to our repertoire, and that is Tamil and actually Telugu and American Sign Language. Thank for the efforts of our community. So it is the community that now is calling us and saying we want our language to be represented. So we do our due diligence to do that as soon and quickly as we can. With that, I'd like to call our next district and it happens to be someone I didn't thank for hosting us. How did I forget to do that? So I'd like to for us to give a round of applause to Natoma's Unified School District. So go ahead. Thank you, Graciela, and thank you, SCOE, for providing this opportunity to honor our students for this great achievement. On behalf of Natomas Unified School District Superintendent Chris Evans and our Board of Trustees, President Dr. Susan Heredia, Vice President Micah Grant, and members Erica Hardin and Noelle Mora, we would like to congratulate and recognize the accomplishments of our seniors this year. Congratulations, Class of 2023. We have in Natomas Unified some core values that really coincide with the state seal of biliteracy. We value learning and achievement for each of our students. We value diversity, equity, and inclusion. We value our families as partners in the education of their students. And we value our committed, collaborative, caring, and exemplary employees. The state seal of biliteracy illustrates and supports each of our core values. Thank you to our teachers, counselors, staff, and families for supporting our students to strive for and to reach their goals and for encouraging them to value multilingualism. The students that we are celebrating this evening exemplify our core values. We're so proud of our students. They've earned a total this year of 163 state seals in 11 different languages. 59% of our students who earned the seal are current or former English learners who entered the district learning English and are graduating proficient in English and at least one other language. We would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge five students who have earned the state seal in two languages, Jennifer Hong, Arabel Louise Leonidas, Devin Panu, Elaine Tantori, and Ramsha Tasneem, who happens to be here tonight. Tomorrow, we have our district event celebrating our state seal of biliteracy recipients. And I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of them who are watching our live stream. And we're excited to see them tomorrow to celebrate with us at Intercom High School. We're very proud of our Natomas Unified Scholars and their great accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2023. We're confident that you'll continue to achieve excellence in your future endeavors. So at this time, I'd like to congratulate our students who are here tonight from both Natomas Unified Schools and also MP3. Tatiana Segura from MP3, Spanish. Jacqueline Huerta Alcaraz, Leroy Green Academy, Spanish. Jasmine Madrigal, Leroy Green Academy, Spanish. Heidi Garcia Escobar, Natomas High School, Spanish. Zachary Lee, Intercom High School, Mandarin Chinese. Joseph Jia, Intercom High School, Mandarin. Ashlyn Bracamonte, Natomas High School, French. Ramsha Tasneem, Natomas High School, Hindi and Telugu. Anya Rivera, Natomas High School, Spanish. 
Victor Emilio Nunez Mendoza, Natomas High School, Spanish. Congratulations, everyone. We're very proud of you. Congratulations, Natomas Unified School District. And I want to say that my nephew is earning the seal. He's not here tonight, so I'm not going to say his name. No, I'm kidding. Miguel Angel Chaparro Garcia. Okay, there it is. Maybe he's watching live stream. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to call Sacramento City Unified School District, Melanie Bean. Welcome Sacramento City Unified School District family. My name is Melanie Bean and I am a training specialist in the Multilingual Literacy Department and I coordinate the state seal of biliteracy. I have to tell you, this is the best time of year for me. Being a teacher coach is great, but seeing your students succeed is amazing. So give them a round of applause. I'm thrilled to celebrate this amazing accomplishment with all 387 SEAL recipients, over 100 more than last year. Not only did you demonstrate your multilingualism in 15 languages, you showed diligence and resiliency post-pandemic. You demonstrated that you could maintain a high GPA in all of your English classes all four years, and you showed mastery in your 11th grade standardized test that CASP test that nobody really wanted to take, but you did anyway, and you rocked it. Before I our state seal of biliteracy recipients to the stage, I'd like to recognize our superintendent, Jorge Aguilar, and the multilingual literacy director, Dr. Olga Sims, who are joining us via live stream. They asked me to share with you that they are incredibly proud of what you have accomplished, and they wish you the best in your pursuit of college and career goals. I'd also like to thank all of the families and friends for supporting these young people in this journey. We hope that you'll all join us for further celebration at our May 18th school board meeting starting at 6.30 p.m. on May 18th. So what I would like to do now is call forward our amazing SEAL recipients so we can acknowledge them. Kaylee Pamasaka, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Woo! Jolene Va, Luther Burbank High School, English and Hmong. Christabel Kelly Say, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Yeah! Ramirez, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Jaziz Hernandez, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Achi Yang, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Pilar, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Alex Garcia, Luther Burbank High School, Spanish. Luther Burbank High School, Dari. Lake Lennon, CK McClatchy High School, Japanese. Mira Abdul Rahman, CK McClatchy High School, French. Adelise Orr, CK McClatchy High School, German. Genevieve Waite, West Campus High School, Spanish. Lisa Bud, School of Science and Engineering, Spanish. Natalie Barreto, CK McClatchy High School, Spanish. Mendoza Corrales, CK McClatchy High School, 
Spanish. And Yadira Zamudio, Rosemont High School, Spanish. So I'd like to thank all of our amazing scholars and thank you to Natomas High School for hosting us this evening. Have a great evening. Congratulations, Sacramento City Unified School District Scholars. I want uh, to uh, give a round of applause to our board members and Superintendent Gordon for standing there this whole time. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Okay, San Juan Unified School District, and I call uh, Ms. Gwen Dillinger, and we have a board member that is here with us. Thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Gwen Dillinger. I'm a director at San Juan Unified. I am joined this evening by trustee Mr. Ben Avey, here to represent San Juan Unified. On behalf of our superintendent, Melissa Bassanelli, board of trustees, and the entire San Juan community, it is our pleasure to be part of this wonderful ceremony honoring multilingual and multiliterate graduating seniors today. Students, you go forth into the world with an advantage that will allow you to interact with the larger community and to amplify your voice. It's been said before, but it's so true. Multilingualism is truly a superpower. We at San Juan Unified are so proud to see over 300 graduates here, or live streaming, with the honor of the State Seal of Biliteracy, gold insignia being affixed to their diplomas. We are so proud to know that our State Seal recipients represent over 14 languages. For those of you have had, have, who have earned more than one seal, that's a big deal. Truly an amazing feat. Finally, we'd like to acknowledge that 16 of our students have received a seal based on American Sign Language, which is new to, uh, as, as Graciela was saying, so we, we look forward to continuing that and growing those numbers. Thank you to the Sacramento County Office of Education for making this wonderful ceremony happen. We look forward to continuing to celebrate with you in the upcoming years. So with no further ado, I would like to bring our students to the stage. Alyssa Johnson, Rio Americano High School, French and Spanish. Amy Velasquez, El Camino High School, Spanish. Rowita Rafael, El Camino Fundamental High School, French. Boudin, San Juan Unified School District, Mesa Verde High School, Romanian. Madeline Radcliffe, Bella Vista High School, American Sign Language. Sofia Ruelas, Mesa Verde High School, Spanish. Andre Jenkins, Casa Roble High School, German. Diana Fuentes Zarinana, Mesa Verde High School, Spanish. Lena Ochoa, El Camino Fundamental High School, Spanish. Jessica Gonzalez, Rio Americano High School, Spanish. Marjorie Escobar Flores, San Juan High, Mariloma High School, Spanish. Yusef Alcibayi, Mariloma High School, Arabic. Tim Fatakadawala, Rio Americano, French.
Congratulations, class of 2023 students and family members. Congratulations, San Juan Unified School District. Okay, we have our visions in education. So welcome, David Villegas. Good evening. I am David Viegas, Assessment and Evaluation Manager with Visions in Education. Visions in Education is a charter school based in Carmichael that serves approximately 7,000 students across a nine county service area. Our students and their families engage in and benefit from our homeschool, independent study, and university preparation programs. It is my pleasure to deliver remarks on behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Steve Olmos, to recognize our students for earning the state seal of biliteracy. This year, over 40 of our visionaries completed coursework and assessments qualifying them for the seal. 31 students went on to earn this achievement. These students have demonstrated biliteracy skills in English, as well as Spanish, Russian, Ukrainian, Urdu, and Hmong. Two of our students earned the seal for proficiency in more than two of those non-English languages. 31, it isn't 40, it certainly isn't 61, where we were two years ago. And yet it could be five, and we'd still feel as proud as we are right now because we know what it takes to get here. Multiply that number and you'll arrive at the hours and days our state seal by literacy coordinator and student services representatives put into student outreach, into scheduling and proctoring of oral and written examinations. Multiply that number exponentially, and you'll arrive at the weeks, months, years, our counselors, teachers, parents, put into educating our students, helping them grow, supporting them as they pursue rigorous courses of study in mathematics, science, and foreign language. All those involved deserve a tremendous amount of gratitude. It takes a village. And never is that more true than when said for homeschool and independent study programs. To our recipients, this is a wonderful accomplishment the seal that displays on your diploma, the medal that you'll receive, your certificates, they symbolize your hard work and dedication to your studies. You should display them proudly. Those tokens also represent opportunity. Your biliteracy skills will be sought after by college admissions and employers alike as you enter the next stage of your lives, higher education and career. You may not realize it, but there are doors that are open to you that are not open to others. Have the courage to walk through those doors and the acumen, the vision to seek out experiences that allow you to use your biliteracy skills to serve others. And always remember, while you may find the expectations of your school and district leaders, your teachers, your parents to be very high Astronomical as they are, they are not misplaced. So without further ado, please join me in recognizing the visionaries who are in attendance today. Zion Price, Spanish. Wabi Jenwala, Urdu. Roberto Remy Ranjel, Spanish. Congratulations to all recipients. Congratulations. 
congratulations, Visions in Education. We have come to that point where we have our last district that is here with us today in person. We have others that are live stream. Thank you. So I'm going to turn it over now to Timothy Tibbs from Twin Rivers Unified School District. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Mr. Jaime started, I'm finishing, both first year doing this. It's a great year, really happy to be here. But first off, I would like to thank uh, the Twin Rivers Unified School District Board of Trustees, Michelle Rivas, Michael Baker, Christine Jefferson, Stacey Bastian, Basim Alcara, Linda Fowler, and Rebecca Sandoval. And again, a thank you to our Superintendent, Dr. Steve Martinez, and Associate Superintendent, Dr. Lori Grace. For without the board support and the superintendent's support, this would not be possible. But I'd also like to thank our welcome, Dr. Giselle Villegas, and one of our amazing principals, Mr. Emerson, Brian Emerson, who is at CCAA, whose students are here tonight. Thank you for coming. And of course, I cannot forget our parents, families, the num numerous teachers all of these students have had, as well as, as well as our other amazing administrators. We could not do this without you at all. And if you look at our board, we have a number of people who contributed to this ordeal in terms of our test takers, our administrative staff, everybody else who assisted in our CL biliteracy journey this year. This year, Twin Rivers saw an increase of number of SEALs from 101 to 133. We represented over 10 languages and had SEALs both in Vietnamese and Mandarin Chinese, which was new this year. It was a wonderful year. We cannot wait to do it all again next year. It's a great time. But without further ado, of course, let us get to our students. Juan Rodriguez, Foothill High School, Spanish. Samantha Becerril Hernandez, Foothill High School, Spanish. Mariel Magala, Grant Union High School, Tagalog. Juana Medina. Grant Union High School, Spanish. Alexa Martinez, Grant Union High School, Spanish. Luis Lopez Juarez, Grant Union High School, Spanish, English. Selena Garcia. Creative Connections Arts Academy, Spanish. Oscar Montano Muniz, Grant Union High School, Spanish. Hamed Azarum, Grant Union High School, Dari. Nelly Martinez Ramirez, Creative Connections Arts Academy, Spanish. Yola Romo Coronado, Grant Union High School, Spanish. Isaac Mungia, Rio Linda High School, English and Spanish. Juan Garcia Garibay, Rio Linda High School, Spanish. Bob Guerrero, Real Linda High School, Spanish. Real Linda High School, Mom. Real High School, Spanish. Sorry, Lindos. But I'm Celeste Garcia, 
We are the Hexo Savage. One round of applause, one more. Congratulations, class of 2023. We want to acknowledge uh, it, how it takes a full community to make this happen. We want to thank our students and family, our teachers, counselors, and administrators. We have all our coordinators that you saw here today and the others that um, are also working with us. We have examiners that work with us and test um, support. And you see pages uh, in the program 28 to 32 have those names. So we want to thank all of them for supporting this effort. One round of applause, please. Definitely want to thank the SCOE team from the bottom of my heart, because this event takes a full community, and I thank you for being here today from two o'clock on, and those of you who worked days and days before, where's Anne-Marie, she's somewhere in there, so thank you so much, and as well as, you know, it took several departments to make this happen, so it is a true collaboration. Thank you so much for such a powerful keynote. Students, thank you for your voice. Muchísimas gracias, familias. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon and Mr. Paul Kiefer, our president, board president. Thank you so much. I love you to uh, take pictures uh, here on our banner or anywhere you'd like on the stage. And we have refreshment water out um, as you leave. Thank you so much.